Ready? Action! Action! Hello everyone, good morning. Today we are taking a Nakdong tour and a by Daegu City tour bus. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So we'd like to uh, look around the beautiful Nakdong River and the amazing villages in Daegu. And here, Cheongna on the the bus stop. This is the starting point of Daegu City Tour Bus. You know that, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I booked the tickets online already. to book, isn't it? We are supposed to meet our, our friends here. So, and I'll wait for them a little moment. Okay. Okay. There are good places I recommend you is Salmon Market. Four hundred and fifty year old market and the third largest market during Joseon Dynasty. It has dancing, singing stage and a tasty food and full of energy and youth. So and also at night, summer market has a night market. So why don't you come and see? And just over there, behind of a tall building, there is a Cheongna Onda, also starting point of the second courses of Modern Alice Tour. This second course of Modern Alice Tour has the most number of domestic and foreign visitors in Daegu. Oh, here they are. Hi, hello. Yeah, hello, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let's hop on the bus. This is a Dongdaegu station, the first stop after starting point. It takes 30 minutes and this is the largest train station in Daegu and the second highest number of passengers in Korea. One of the busiest stations is Gyeongbu Line, Seoul to Busan, Busan to Seoul, KTX train, so it called bulletin train as any other train bound for Gyeongju stopped at this station and also this station is well connected with the bus terminal subway station and many restaurants and many hotels and departmental store time to go oh time to go yes. okay now we are heading for next bus stop let's, let's go, go. Lakdong River is the longest river in South Korea, 521 kilometers. And also this is the home of the many animals, plants, fishes, 
and a threatened species. Until in the middle of the 19th, we didn't have developed a transportation system like today. Samunjin was a very important transportation herb in those days. An American missionary, Richard Haley the Bottom, he successfully transported a piano from America via boat along Nakdong River, this very port Samunjin. That piano was the first piano in Korea and carried it to Cheongna Hill, our starting point on the city tour bus. And then the currently hundred the pianos at the concert has been held annually to commemorate and celebrate this event. So now you can see the piano thumbs all around here. Wow, look at the, oh my God, look at the, the Nakdong River. Yeah, please come. But look at this one. And then also this trail is connected with the Dalsung Wetland Eco Learning Center. Wow, okay, let's go. <laughs> and night, it has so beautiful night view. And I look at it, the river and under here, the beautiful flowers are here. Any seasons, you can see wonderful, the river, Nakdong River, the longest river scenery here. This is the only place in South Korea you can appreciate river, piano, and the special species. So, you know, in Korea, after the geographically, the peninsula of the Korea, actually, east side is a little higher than west side. So that's why most of the river flow from east to west. And the Nakdong River is the only river started north to south. And the north, that means from Gangwon province. And at the end, that was Busan. That's why this is really the special river in Korea in geographic aspect. As you see, this is a common kestrel, and this is also common buzzler. The here in Daegu, Daegu is the third largest city in Korea. That means we have a lot of the population here, so we cannot see really rare species because this is a metropolitan city. But here in the Samunjin, you can see that kind of the common the kestrel or the common bird. This is the only place you can see the rare, special, the bird at night. From Samunjin to Daesung Wetland Eco Learning Center, it takes mostly 20 minutes and a one way, so totally 40 minutes to round the trip. So after lunch, you know, why don't you have take a walk and the way the appreciating beautiful Nakdong River and the beautiful trees. This is a riverside cafeteria. We can order lunch here. So, and the, please check the menu first. Order. So here we have to order. What would you like to have? Okay, two jan chi A butsu jan, one butsu jan. Do you want a makgeolli? 
Yeah. Okay, got it. So two janchikuksu, but one butchujan, and a, a bottle of makgeolli. Then I will order beef stew. Sanchigukusu 2 개. 그리고 막걸리. 그리고 부추전 하나. 국밥 하나. Uh, this is the number of my order. So we have to wait until they'll call. So our number this is just over there. Can you see the number? So that is our number. 97. Oh, here's the menu we ordered. Ta-da! Two gochujang and cool makgeolli. Okay, this is for my friends. This is not at the end here. Okay. Wow! Really delicious wow. snow. <laughs> this is a janti kuksu. This is a beef stew. And you know, this one is the most popular putujan here. And especially the people around here really like this putujan. Dego people like this noodle is. The weather of the Daegu is really hot in summer and really cold in winter. Especially in summer, it's really hot and humid. So this is a perfect food for summer in Daegu. Okay, uh, this is a makgeolli. Then, uh, okay. uh, so we need a shake. Shaking! This is a sparkling liquor we call the makgeolli. Okay. What's the lunch? Was delicious? Yes, delicious. Yes, okay. So now it's time to return this tray. So here. Okay, done. It's an iced towel. Really feels good. So like the ice.
So now we are here, Ma Bizhong. Ma Bizhong is really well known for mirrors on the walls. It takes almost 20 to 25 minutes from Samunjin Ferry. And there are 35 households with 70 residents in this village. This village is well known for, as you see, the beautiful mirrors on the walls. So, and these, the mirrors represent the rural life of the countryside. When people come to this village, we feel nostalgia of 1960s to 1970s. Okay, so we will stay here almost 30 minutes, then we have to hurry to all look around this village. Everybody, let's go with me. This is the map of the Mabizhang village. So, the mostly, and this route is popular to the people. It takes only 20 minutes in average. Okay. This is a totem pole. The characteristic of a countryside wall is like the wall composed of the usually the many stones. But when we visit next stop, the Inhung village, so maybe I think it is really interesting to compare two villages, Inhung Maul and Ma Bizhang village. Wow! Wow! I think. This is a farm owner. Do you live here? Yes, we live here. So all of them are residents in this village and they are selling the product they cultivated themselves. You see, there is Chinese character, Chun Ha Chu Dong. That means spring, summer, autumn, and winter. So you know, this, no, this, the fruit, it says a pomegranate. The origin of the pomegranate is the Middle East of the Asia, like the Iran, Turkey. But now you can see pomegranate in countryside village here, Mavizan village. You see, also that is the Chinese character Ma Bi Zheng. The first Chinese character Ma means horse. And the second thing is the fly. And the last thing was Zheng means well. So that means this is the well of the flying horse. Like the pavilion. And the same, same meaning of the pavilion. You see, same Chinese character. Horse, flying, pavilion. And actually there is two stories about the origin of the name of this village that the, fly, the horse flying the well and then also horse flying in the pavilion. So that's why in this village there is two places. One is for and the well and one is for the pavilion. Now it says it's the bamboo tunnel. So shall we walk together? Wow, look at this one. So nobody can imagine here's a tunnel, a tunnel with the bamboo tree. Wow. Shall we try? Yes. <laughs> wow. It feels so comfortable, right? I think this is a perfect place in summer because, as you know, Degusa summer is really hot. So we have, that's why we have a nickname, Degusa summer. Do you know that? Yeah. So what's that? What's Deprica. that? Africa. Africa, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah. you win. <laughs> So actually some of the countries in the world, they don't have 
the persimmon. But then here in Korea, the persimmon is a really common fruit. We use it especially in autumn. So see, a lot of the persimmon tree in this village. But this is not a special case. This is just a common case in Korea. So if you didn't have any experience to taste persimmon, why don't you come to Daegu and please visit this village, the Mabijang village. Don't forget it. Ah, yes, this is. So actually, this is a really special case to see. That's the roof, the house. You know, the, in Korea, in case of the upper class houses, they have roof tiled houses. But here, this is attached to roof to house. That means the owner of this house is just the middle class or the farmers. So Joseon Dynasty itself was hierarchy, the country. So that's why you see, when you see the houses, you can assume what kind of the rank they belonged. Okay. This picture is exactly what I did when I was a child for my little sister. You see, here the countryside experience center. So inside there, anyone can experience to make a tofu or to make a fermented bread. That was just a common bread when I was a child. Now we are here in Inhung family village from Mabijang, the last stop to this Inhung family village. It takes only five minutes. It's really close from the Mabijang last stop. So actually here, there are only nine households with 70 typical Korean, the, you know, the traditional space. We call that the che. So sometimes it represents, you know, it the referred to rooms. As you see, so maybe you, some of you already assumed it's a quite a different Inhung family village and Mabizhang village. So you see, it looks really luxurious, Korean traditional houses. So to compare two villages, they are quite different. 
The first one, you see the walls. The Mabizang village wall is uh, the mostly mainly that's stone walls. But look at this one. The wall and clay and stone and then also in mixed regularly. And then also it has uh, a beauty of the architecture. Mabizang Ellis are really narrow and curved, but here in Hong Mahol, so all the alleys broad and the straight. That means this village was already planned before they built. This is in Hong family village. So it takes only five minutes, Mabizang village, the last stop we already visited. So here, there are nine households with 770. The Korean typical, the houses we call the Han Ok. The room, actually, so we call, the, usually we call the Che. Che means room. So it has 70 rooms in whole villages. You know, including in Su Mungo, a family library, Gwanggodang, a private school, and Yongho Ze, that is a kind of the family, the meeting space. The alleys of this village is quite different from any other the old alleys in Korea. In Hong villages, alleys are quite much broader and straighter. As you see, all the houses have roof tiled. That means this family belongs to upper class during Joseon Dynasty. Now, actually, this village started in the end of 18th. So it's been almost 200 years houses. Get on the bus. <laughs> this is a Dalsong Wetland Eco Learning Center. So as you see, the whole shape of this building is look like this hooded crane. And then also you see this area is a spawning ground of the Taz. So that's why we said this is really the important and the precious nature monument. So it says, what does wetland mean? This is a Taj. Oh, okay. 
回到我这边。piano 이야기가 나옵니다. 와우 와우 look at this one 와우 so from here left side can you see the river that is a Nakdong river and the right side, the river that is the Gumpo River. Actually, two river meets that point. And then here, we called Jincheon River. The, uh, this is the place, three rivers, Nakdong, Gumpo, Jincheon River meets all together here. That means this uh, Nakdong River contains a lot of the water precious natural assets. It's a Monday kind of feeling on a Tuesday afternoon. I can hear Wednesday calling, but then Thursday comes too soon. And by Friday, I'm ready for a Saturday affair. Cause on Sunday, I'll be happy. The afternoon is here. It's a Monday kind of feeling on a Tuesday afternoon. I can hear Wednesday calling, but then Thursday comes too soon. And by Friday, I'm ready for a Saturday affair. Cause on Sunday, I'll be happy. The afternoon.
late Cause the city is so busy I can feel it every day And you know I love my baby I can hardly wait There's just something extra special When I get to see your face Can you guess how many, how many men are? Actually, this is we call the greeting men. Five hundred greeting men are welcoming us. So now we are here, the Ark. It takes almost uh, 25 or 30 minutes uh, from Inhang village. So, you know, we will stay here about uh, 30 minutes mm -hmm. and uh, that it was uh, built in 2015 by Hani Lasid, a famous architect worldwide. So, and the abbreviation of the Ark is uh, the architecture of river culture. So as uh, you see here, Naktong River, there, Gumho River. It meets just over there. And the people said, you know, the ark, it looks like a spaceship or stone skipping, splashing off from the surface of water, fish jump up from the water, or Korean bowl. This ark is located in the very spot where there were three rivers, Gumho River, Nakdong River, and Jincheon River meets all together. It is amazing to see the sunset from here. you want to see the beautiful sunset why don't you come to here the people you love so here enjoy the time when you come to here the time of the sunset it will take your breath away and also if you have the time I'd like to recommend you to take a bicycle and there are a lot of the riding things I really wanted to take Enjoy your time. Okay, now I'm uh, sitting here. The behind me, there is uh, the ark. I feel like I'm uh, the queen of the nature. I'd like to recommend you to come here and I have a time the sitting on the chair with uh, your, the people you love. So now we are on a final stop of Daegu City tour bus today. So I hope you had a wonderful time today with me. If you like this tour, why don't you say all together, Joao with the hands up and waving them. Joao! Thank you so much for all your attention and a big smile to the end. Thank you and I hope you guys see you again. Thank you. Thank you. See you again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.